When Carl Whitcomb started experimenting at the OSU Ag Research Station just west of campus, he didn't have much to work with. When I arrived here in August of 72, there was a, the old barn that still exists with a leaky roof. There was no water, there was no bathroom, there was, it was just, and no electrical power even. And so it, it, we had to build upon that. Growing up on a farm in Southeast Kansas, he learned two skills, how to grow plants and build things. As a kid growing up on a farm, you know, we'd get a Sears catalog in the mail. I didn't have those toys. I built toys that looked just like that. Carr received his bachelor's degree at Kansas State and graduate degrees from Iowa State. Together with the station superintendent, Charlie Gray, Dr. Whitcomb began experimenting with propagating plants. In teaching classes, I would, I would take, have the students meet out at that old research lab and we would conduct experiments. So they learned about scientific methods and all these techniques and so forth as part of the lab but it also helped me with the research side of things. Randy Davis, president and CEO of Greenleaf Nurseries, was one of his students. When I first graduated from college, you know, I didn't really realize all the things that I learned when I was at Oklahoma State University, or even absorbed all the things that I absorbed while I was there, like some of these things that he taught us. But as I got a little bit older and a little bit wiser, then I started to realize, oh man, you know, that was really good stuff that he was showing us and teaching us. And, and that's really what I go back to is him pushing that envelope is really what has helped me be successful and helped other people be successful and it's helped this company be successful. Dr. Whitcomb, when he was on the faculty, really was an innovator and that aspect of his nature really has carried throughout his career. Dr. Whitcomb left the department in 1985 to start his own company, Spark Incorporated. In the 40 years since, his research has led to several new species of plants, 44 U.S. patents, and more than 30 trademarks. He's also published papers in several hundred journal and technical publications and received numerous industry awards. Carl was kind of a pioneer in that. He started developing new plants kind of before it was the thing to do in our industry. And so we grew a lot of his plants and, and helped get them out into the marketplace. Among his proudest accomplishments are a micronutrient fertilizer and a pot that keeps plants from being root bound. But homeowners and landscape professionals will recognize his name from his plant collection. This is part of 65 acres that I call my fun location. <laughs> his crepe myrtles in particular can be found worldwide. Patented nearly 20 years ago, Double Dynamite was the first true red crepe myrtle, something many said was impossible. I saw that challenge of that there will never be a red flowered crepe myrtle as being, I think I can beat that. It took me nine years, but Dynamite crepe myrtle is known worldwide. The old barn where it all began still stands, now with power and water, and is a few steps away from the Botanic Garden. Dr. Whitcomb's creations have come full circle. He's been very supportive of what's going on at OSU even today uh, with his support for scholarships, student scholarships. He's uh, made some significant investments at the Botanic Garden to help make sure that we have the facilities that we need to keep it strong. And he's also just been a great uh, resource for, uh, for ideas. Celebrating Carl Whitcomb, 2022 champion for OSU agriculture.